On the 18th of November, the US Embassy in Berlin tweeted a quote by Martin Luther King, which really reached my heart. It was, our lives begin to end the moment we are silent about things that truly matter. Both, and that's the end of the quote, but both things that truly matter to us and simply things that truly matter in the world. This crisis has been very polarizing regarding many issues, but I think I believe the most important of them is our individual human rights, our God-given rights to independence and sovereignty, and also control over our own body, not allowing governments or pharmaceutical interests, companies to dictate the definition of health and of what a potential cure and a way to live is. Now, I believe people like Martin Luther King and his namesake Martin Luther, who started the revolution here in Germany against the unholy Roman Empire, which was also trying to exert tyrannical control and great hypocrisy, and really invalidated in its way of life the teachings of Jesus Christ. And I just want to say there are millions of us here in Germany who disagree with our government and who disagree with the influence that German industries are having worldwide and who wish that that influence did not exist. And as both a Christian and someone who loves animals and campaigns for their rights and has chosen to eat you know, in a, in a cruelty-free way or a vegan way, I have to say I'm, I'm completely against this indirect and direct way of forcing vaccines upon the population of, of the earth. And I have to say, I think it's completely insane what Bill Gates says about vaccines being a miracle of modern medicine and that we need seven billion of them two times. Couldn't disagree more. We need good health. We need more love, compassion through also food. And to me, it seems like absolute common sense when you know for a fact that animals eat between 10 and 50 times what humans could eat in grain, in resources, in land mass, and how the vaccine industry, the pharmaceutical industry are all completely interwoven, inseparable from the agricultural and simply the, the whole way of life. And honestly, I think we need to connect back with our roots much, much more and see that having compassion with not only our fellow human beings, but our fellow animals and this earth which we're ripping apart with such practices as fracking, monoculture, and, you know, the merger of Monsanto and Bayer, a German-American company, I, I believe that says it all. When you look in the self-terminating seeds and how millions of farmers in India have committed suicide, just the plain outright evil, the cold-blooded evil that is being perpetrated against humanity I believe it's truly a time to take a stand and Martin Luther King also said other brilliant things like justice, justice threatened anywhere, in other words injustice, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere and that the hottest places are in, in hell are reserved for those who remain neutral or passive or, or let evil be done instead of the Heavenly Fathers, the Almighty Creators, the 
unexplainable source of existence, instead of letting the holy will be done, the will of life, the will of justice and fairness and goodness, the hottest places in hell are reserved for those individuals. And it's really a sneaking agenda. Um, this mask wearing, you know, it's a direct, it is a political issue. And it is a worldview issue. And it cuts into people's freedom and privacy. And here in Germany, they're even saying, you know, people need to wear these in their own apartments. I mean, it would be funny if it wasn't backed up by force and in their cars and just everywhere and i don't know what life is like all over earth i heard um in vietnam and thailand and belarus and several sweden several other countries they have rejected the lockdown but uh, i really believe it's it's high time to take a stand and i also denounce the newspapers uh, especially on christmas day uh, publishing such images and articles, um, Christ as a baby with a vaccine bottle and pretending they know that their parents would have gone along with the vaccine agenda and so on and so forth. When there are aborted human tissue cells in there, it's the result of taught countless amounts of torture to animals and there's corruption left, right and center in the whole industry. Um, verified fact. It's not up for debate. It's true, you know, and the, I believe this could be, this could be wrong, but this is what I've heard. GlaxoSmithKline owns Pfizer and GlaxoSmithKline, um, apart from paying billions alongside other pharmaceutical corporations like Merck and Sanofi and so on and the vaccine courts, especially in America, but in other countries as well, for validated damage to individuals. They were caught red-handed dumping polio virus in a river. <sighs> it really is time to wrestle against the forces of darkness in higher places and they have never been more obvious than now. So with that, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy new year and goodness for your life and for your family and you know in case i get bumped off or mysteriously am suicided um you know who did it because that has happened an awful lot um to important figures who spoke out against this insanity and is proven on the masks it's written on the mask it does not protect against viruses you can ask any surgeon what what do you wear the mask for, for? bacteria um uh, allegedly, I say allegedly because the virus itself hasn't even been isolated and there is a challenge open in Germany for over 120,000 euros to the equivalent of Dr. Fauci here, Dr. Drosten, um, to claim that money if he can simply provide the isolated version of the coronavirus and it's been weeks, if not over a month now and he hasn't done it and that might sound insane and, oh he's too busy and that's such a small amount of money but actually Dr. Lanka here in Germany um, published a similar challenge and it lasted for over six years for anyone to prove that the measles virus exists and for anyone to isolate the measles virus and it just goes to show you know this hasn't been 100% confirmed, but I believe it's true because it fits in with the whole image that Pasteur said on his deathbed, the virus theory is wrong, the terrain is everything, my colleagues were right. So please do your own research before ignoring and shooting the messenger. Really take apart this message and look at the individual parts and I'm saying everything I say with a good conscience. And I believe it's in the spirit of the founding fathers of freedom, not just in America or Germany or England, but those who resist tyranny and live in tune with their conscience. And in the words of Abraham Lincoln, you know, if you are true to your conscience, 
if you have a clear conscience, you live in a perpetual Christmas. So on that note, I salute you who are on the path of goodness and righteousness and very Merry Christmas.